Welcome back developers! Whenever you see one of my videos, I always include a link to where you can download the project and source code. But if you're new to software development and version control software, it may not be immediately clear how to make use of that resource. Let's walk through how we can take part in mine and other creators' source code. Here is my GitHub page. In here, you can find the source code for everything that I make. The content from every one of my videos is uploaded here. GitHub is a source control and hosting service where most people upload their code. Not just for Unity, but for any type of project and any programming language. Start by navigating to the project's repository page. You can do this by searching for the project, my username or following the link as shared in the video description. So what is a repository? A GitHub repository is a location where all the files, folders and version history of a project are stored. It serves as a central hub for any project on GitHub. A repository contains the entire history of the project, like for example my latest video on time control in Unity including all of the code, documentation, images, and other related files. For short, they're also called repos. Here you can view the full hierarchy of the project. Since this is a Unity project, it's laid out just like you would see it in the Unity editor. You can view each file and read each line of code. You can copy or download any of these files individually. At the top, you see various tabs such as code, issues, pull requests, and more. Click on the Code tab to access the project source code. Now you have a few options to download the project. The first option is to download a zip file. Just click on the green Code button and select Download Zip. The project will be downloaded as a compressed file to your computer. Save this file somewhere on your computer. It doesn't matter where, but I do suggest a folder for all of your projects. In Unity, we can now choose Add Project from Disk. Select the entire folder you just downloaded, and you should now see it under your projects. If I start this project, it will function just the same as it did when I first created it, and just the same as you could see in the video. Another option that I highly recommend is getting GitHub Desktop. Clicking the Desktop option brings you to the download page. Install the app anywhere on your computer, open it up and log into your user. You can now control GitHub locally from your own machine. Let's try a different project now. Here is one of my personal favorite YouTubers and Unity developers, Sebastian Locke. I'll randomly pick one of his projects here, copy the URL of the entire repository, either from the search window or from the code space. Now in the app, we hit Clone Repository. Select any folder on your computer where you would like to clone the project to and hit Clone. Now we've cloned it, just as we did with the zip. The difference, however, is that we can now view and direct changes to the source code from the app itself. And any changes that I make will show here. This gives me remote control of my repository. There's a lot more that you can do, but this tutorial ends here. GitHub can be surprisingly daunting to learn, and has a lot of features that are outside the scope of this video. Here, for example, is the source code for the entire Godot game engine complete with instructions on how to build it yourself. We can view release notes, current bug issues, requests for changes, and much more. It's all right here on GitHub. I hope I have given you a starting point and an interest in learning more. This answers the question of how to open a GitHub project on your own computer. Remember to check the project's documentation or readme file for any specific setup instructions or dependencies that it might have. Also, you can star any project you like to easier find them later and also to show support for the creator. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more programming tips and tutorials. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Happy coding!